Hey folks, welcome back to another video. In one of my previous videos, I'd shown you how you can use Google Apps Script and the Google Maps app to calculate distance between two locations. And um, we had all the locations stored in the Google Sheet and we could calculate the distance and time it will take to get from point A to point B. In this video, we will be taking that project to the next step where we'll be creating a web app which will give us the distance and time in real time. So let's just get started. So uh, right now, uh, I am in my Google Apps Script dashboard here. So I'm just going to go here click on new project and we'll create a new Google Apps Script project for me. It's going to close the dark mode for now. And the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and create a new HTML file. So I'm just going to name this as file.html and it's given us the basic HTML module. So let's just go back to our Google Apps Script part. So I'm going to clear this out. And the first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be creating a new function called do get. And inside this function, the first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'll be returning the HTML service dot create HTML output from file. So this, this is how we will be creating our web app page. So I'll be doing file dot HTML. So this will be just creating the web app. And after that, we need to give what it will do and the structure in the HTML part. So I'm going to be starting out by creating another function called um, calculate underscore distance and inside this I'm going to be having two parameters that's going to be start and end and inside this we will be calculating the distance and time that it will take to get from the start location to the end location so we'll be starting out by where directions and inside this I'll be doing maps dot new direction finder and inside this we'll be starting out by doing a set origin and the set origin is going to be the start one after this, we are going to be doing the set destination. So the destination is going to be the end one. After this, we'll be doing set the mode of transport. So in this, we need to do first do the map. We need to do maps dot direction finder dot mode. And inside this, we have multiple modes such as we have bicycle, we have cycling, driving, transit, walking. So since we had built that solution for a cargo company, it's going to be driving again. We'll do driving here. And after this, we just have to do the final that is going to be get directions. So we've got our directions here. I'm going to go down here. And now we need to extract the distance and time from the uh, directions variable. So I'm going to be doing directions dot routes. The code that you'll be seeing right now is extremely similar to the last one. But this time the di difference is that we will be uh, displaying this on a web app and the text. So this is what we have done in the previous video where duration it's going to be the time is going to be same it's going to be directions dot routes dot legs dot duration dot text so that we can extract the text from it and then all we are going to be doing is we'll be just returning this for distance we'll be returning the distance variable for the duration variable will be to replace will be returning the duration so now that we have the google apps rep part handle that is going to be calculating the uh, time that it's the, the distance and time that is going to take it we have, it's time to accept the parameters from the web app also at the same time displaying the data on the web app so what we'll be doing is we'll go we'll just go here and click on save and we'll go to our html one and inside this inside the body we'll start out by giving a h1 tag saying um, distance and time calculator and I'll just close the h1 tag here after this we're going to be creating a form here so the form is going to be an on submit and on submit we're going to be doing event prevent default and after this we're going to be adding the function that we had here that's going to be calculate distance and we're just going to be, close, we'll be adding a semicolon here we'll just close this form here and now inside this form we'll be having a label and it's going to be for the start variable right because we'll be accepting the start location right so we want this to be the start location and i'm just going to close this label here After this, we'll be doing the same thing for the end location. This is going to be the uh, end one. 
right and inside this i want it want the user to add end location and then i'll just close this label here and now for each of them we want uh, to keep it required right we don't we we want them to keep it simple and we want them to fill both of the um, start and end locations so we're going to be doing something here input text and after this we for the id it's going to be start and inside this we want it to be required right and we'll just add a break here And we have to close this input for now. To close this, it's the same thing. We're going to be doing it for the end one. And this, what we will be just changing this to end. And the input is going to be text. And then in the end, we want a submit button that will send all the values. So we'll create another input tag here. And this time it's going to be a submit one. And um, the value is going to be calculate. close this one here and here we come down here and we close up the form here now we move on to the next part that's going to be displaying the result so we will be creating another we'll be creating an h2 tag saying um result and i'll just close this one here and we want we'll be opening a paragraph up here that will say distance and we'll have a span here this is mostly html code so if you want to skip to the google app part you can skip ahead and this time is going to be the distance right in the distance one we want to display the distance id and um, once we are done with this we'll go here close the span and then we'll close the paragraph the same thing will be done for the time one so i'm just going to copy paste this here and but the id is going to be just different it's going to be duration and the span and p this is all going to be same so our html code for this part is done so when we're going up to our head and we'll be opening up a new script tag here so that we can write our Google app script code. Go down here. I'm going to close up the script tag here. So here um, in the start, I'm going to be creating a new function. Function here called calculate distance. And inside this, I'm going to be getting the values that we just got right now. So we'll be doing variable start and we'll be doing document oops, document dot get element by ID and the ID for this is going to be start. And after this, we want the dot value. If you want to know more about the document app, you can check out the link in the description. After this, we'll be doing the, we'll be doing the same thing for this one. We'll, we'll be doing document dot get element by ID. And we'll be doing end here and after this we'll be doing a dot value here and after this we'll be doing google dot script dot run and in this we'll be just copying this code that we have here that's going to be with success handler we wanted to run the following function that is going to come down there that is going to be update result so once it gets once it calculates all the distance we want it to display it right so we have to get a function for that and in the google app script part of this here is going to be calculating it so we need to extract this from here and put it into this and inside this we want it to do the calculate distance function and inside this we'll be passing the start and end function here once we're done with this function we'll open up a new function that is called uh, update result and inside this we'll be having a result variable here We'll open up the brackets here and the first thing that we're going to be doing is we'll be doing we'll be doing document again we'll begin doing document dot get element by id and this time is going to be distance then we'll be doing text content equal to the result dot distance the same thing for this one we'll be doing document dot get element by id and this time it's going to be duration And inside this, we'll be doing dot text content again, which will be equal to the result dot duration. We'll be just clearing the spaces here. So our HTML code and Google app script code is ready and good to go. 
And um, the next thing that we to do is we need to deploy the web app to access it. So for that, we're going to be going ahead and clicking on deploy. We'll be clicking on new deployment here. And inside this, we'll be clicking the web app type. The description we can just, since it's not, since we need to check if the code is working or not, we'll just do a trial one and I'll click on deploy. And here you can see the web app has successfully opened up. So I'm just going to put in the location that's going to be Kandi Village to Marine Lines. I'm going to click on calculate. And here you can see we have successfully got the distance that's going to be 35.5 kilometers and the duration that is going to be taking to cover this is going to be one hour, three minutes. So here you can see we have successfully created our web app using Google App Script. We have successfully converted that regular Google Sheet that we had previously into a fully functioning web app. And um, if you haven't watched the previous video, I'll leave that link in the description. You can check that out. I'll be leaving the code link, the GitHub code link in the description. If you want to work with it, you can check that out. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and for more content, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.